Welcome back students. This is your Chendu. In this video, I am going to let you know the R18 J into H question paper pattern uh, which is of part A as well as part B where I have done a video, detailed video and explain you the, uh, the marking as well as the, uh, the time as well as uh, from which unit how many questions you are going to get. Now I am going to show you the exact question paper how you are going to get like R18 as well as R16 students have taken this pattern earlier but whereas R18 students haven't taken this paper and they are going to take for the first time after the COVID situation. As per the COVID pattern, you have taken eight questions of eight, eight questions of which you are, you are attempted only five. But whereas now, dear students, we look at this paper, which I am going to show you for your understanding R15 as well as R16, but you are going to take into consideration R18 only here. If you look at the timing here, this is of three hours. Dear students, I have taken sample example of one of the question paper, which is of microprocessor and microcontrollers of ECE and the maximum marks for the, even this paper is also 75 mark dear students now if you look at this there is a note given in the question paper stating that this question paper contains part two parts that is part a as well as part b part a is compulsory please make sure that part a is compulsory which carries 25 marks dear students all answers in part a answer all the questions in the part a part b consists of five units answer any one full question please make sure that answer any one full question from each unit each question carries 10 marks dear students and may have a b c as sub questions also let's look into the part a as well as part b now very clearly as i have told you that the first two questions will be from unit one and each question carries here two and three mark i mean five marks will be covered for the short questions from the unit one and the total of 25 marks for the part a dear students like this they are going to ask from each each unit two two questions if you look at this question paper pattern dear students this is how the paper pattern even for you people who are going to take the end examination within two weeks this is how they are going to ask from the unit five one to unit five two two questions which carries two and three mark dear students it is only for your understanding please try to work out accordingly and the time duration for even this pattern is also three hours and the marks are also 75 but the question paper is bit lengthy in its structure now let's look at the part b as i told that the part b is also consists of five questions with or option each question carries 50 marks now let's look at this is two a b two a b and three a b is from unit one dear students now if you look at here they have given a as well as b which is of five plus five combination and do not expect direct 10 marks until and unless it is a uh, t it is a problem or a derivation if it is a theory subject you are going to get sub options like a b c also dear students now if you look in between here as i told that these two questions are unit one you are supposed to work out either a b of two or three a b and do not write two a and three a it won't be valid dear students your marks will be only for one question that is either two 2a or 3a and it's waste of time writing also that's the reason be clear with the syllabus copy and please do work out accordingly each and every question i mean each and every part of your syllabus copy so that from which part they are going to ask from the unit one we cannot uh, uh, just guess it and predict it dear students it's because of they may be covering short questions as well as they may be covering long questions. So there won't be a repetition of the question here as well as here. So you need to cover the entire units, whichever you are going to prepare. Now later, if I told that the third question, the fourth and fifth question is from unit two. Getting dear students, by looking at the or option, you could be able to understand this. This is how you are supposed to work out at the minimum of three to four units for sure guarantee. Then only you are going to score good marks as well as clear this subject. Now, sixth and seventh is from the unit three. If you look here, each and every question consists of two questions like subparts A and B, that is five plus five combination. And even eight and nine is from the unit four and 10 and 11 is from the unit five. This is how, if you look at the question paper, dear students, it is bit lengthy compared to that of the COVID pattern, where you are going to get AB options in this, as well as the short questions you need to write. As I told that all the short questions you are supposed to write at one place in the booklet provided for you and later put the part B and start writing the question number. If you are good at 8A, please do write 8A properly, 100% and then jump into the 8B and do not write 8A and 9B. That is said to be invalid, dear student. This is one of the sample paper which I am going to show you if it is a R16 pattern, R16 regulation, whereas here you are going to get R18 here and the pattern and the procedure is similar to the top, the earlier paper which I have shown you, dear students. If it is a C, even if here it is a, I have taken into consideration, mechanical engineering paper there also it consists of the one question
equation which are sub equations which are of 10 in number each carries 2 and 3 mark and the part b if you look into consideration it is 2 bit length in its structure it is 2a 2b whereas in the covid pattern you got the complete question for 15 marks but when you look at the uh, the non covid pattern you are going to get two questions of sub unit ab or 3ab which is of 5 plus 5 mark i can say that this pattern is a bit difficult for you all to work out in a given span of 3 hours and there won't be extra time provided for you and if you look at even the third second unit also they have given two sub questions here ab combination and even the third unit is also ab along with the definitions as well as the problem they have considered seven mark problem as well as three mark theory question it means you can expect even the short question also of three mark in the sub unit of 7a as well as 7b dear students you need to be thorough with all the concepts which you are going to study if not you are going to clear this you are not going to clear this subject at any cost be clear with at least a maximum of three units hundred percent so that you'll be able to score good marks otherwise you are supposed to take the supplementary examination please do concentrate on the part which i am going to show here as well as if you look here the complete paper is all about five plus five combination only and four six and there is no 10 mark direct question dear students it means the university is trying to cover each and every concept from the each and every syllabus copy please to work out all the courses accordingly to score out out of mark without skipping a single part in the syllabus copy you are supposed to work out each and every concept then only you could able to take dear students even i cannot expect this time which part of the short question comes in the end examination and which long question comes in the end examination i will request all the students to work out the three units for sure hundred percent guarantee without skipping a single topic from the given syllabus copy hope you will do that and utilize the three hours of time and score better mark in the r18 regular pattern which you are going to take within 15 days good luck and god bless you all if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel as well as share this content with your friends hoping for your better performance in the end examination if you're looking for any other course question papers or any other course a detailed explanation of the concepts please do text in the comment section i'll do that if possible good luck and god bless you all thank you